climate change can affect the stability of existing structures. Scientists have linked climate change to ground movement beneath urban areas. As the Earth heats up, it also deforms. This phenomenon causes movements in the foundations of buildings and the surrounding ground, which ultimately affects the durability of structures that were not designed to cope with such challenges. Researchers report that this phenomenon may have caused damage to buildings in the past, and they expect these problems to persist for many years to come. We know that the Earth's climate is getting warmer. We also know that it is increasingly affecting the functioning of our planet. But it turns out that rising temperatures also pose a threat to our infrastructure. It's about ground deformation, expansion and contraction caused by subsurface heat islands. This phenomenon, as scientists from Northwestern University argue, threatens existing buildings. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Communications Engineering. The temperature below the Earth's surface is influenced not only by the climate, but also by what we put under it. A good example is the subway, which generates significant amounts of heat. Anyway, this applies even to cities that do not have a subway, because its source is also underground pipes and wires. In addition, there are, for example, underground garages. The heat supplied below the surface then spreads to the surrounding ground, affecting its physical properties. But can these changes affect the buildings on the surface? And if so, to what extent? Based on data from Chicago, engineer Alessandro Rotolauria from Northwestern University in Illinois created a three-dimensional computer model that simulates the effect of rising temperature on the land located outside the City, as well as the buildings standing on them. In his simulations, he included a period of exactly a century, from 1951, the year the tunnels under Chicago were completed, to the year 2051. Models 
have shown that underground heat islands can have an impact on what is located on the surface. Underground that is partly clay, like that of Chicago, is particularly susceptible to expansion and contraction with both water and temperature. Other cities may also be exposed to negative effects in this context. For example, New York City is known to begin to subside under the weight of its own skyscrapers, and adding instability to the ground due to temperature changes certainly doesn't make things better. Anyway, these underground heat islands are found in many cities around the planet. Scientists have found their presence, for example, near Amsterdam, Berlin, Nanjing and Istanbul. Returning to Chicago, where the ground is warming at about 0.14 degrees Celsius per year, Alessandro Rotoloria reports that the city's ground is constantly deforming as temperatures change. And many existing structures and infrastructure are not designed to withstand such changes. Depending on the type of ground, the warming of the ground in Chicago was able to shift it by 8 to 12 millimeters. While it is not expected that buildings will suddenly start to collapse en masse, Even small changes of a few millimeters can cause their foundations to weaken, which in the long run may translate into a reduction in the strength of the entire structure. Anyway, according to Alessandro Rotoloria, it is likely that already at this point the changes discussed here contributed to the subsidence of part of the foundations, or even caused cracks in them.